Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm a foreign trained dentist here in the US and in order to get back into dental field, I need to pass both of my board exams to get back into dental school. I'm planning to apply to dental school's next application cycle, so this spring, and right now I'm studying to pass my NBDE part one. So when I looked up how to study for NBDE, uh, when I was just beginning, everybody were recommending this first aid book this one over here. I have them all in PDFs because it's just easier for me. Um, it's a very good book. It's called Student to Student Guide. So they say that students who already passed their MBD have contributed to writing this book. Like they told the authors the questions that they found challenging and they put them in the book. I don't know. And I think it's true because when you go through your tests from the printouts from the exams and you make a mistake and then you look it up in this book, it's basically written out word to word. So I guess they did take challenging questions out of reprints and put this in this book. But I did have some, some problems with this book. First of all that I hated is the style of writing. You can see over here that the paragraphs are compressed to bullet points, which is very difficult to read especially for me, which my studying style, I um, I prefer to read the text and I just, it kind of sets, settles into my head easier this way. And this is just super difficult to read because there's no structured sentences, there's no paragraph, and it just, you read sentence by sentence and it breaks apart. So maybe when you write like notes and it's your studying way, or if you make flashcards, this would be easier, but for me, it just didn't work. There is no connection between sentences, information looks ripped apart, so I just couldn't comprehend it. I read through the entire book, but I feel like not a lot of material actually stuck around in my head because of the lack of structure. I see a lot of people liking this book and recommending it to other people, so this brings me to think that it's just me and my studying style. Um, I'm just used to reading huge paragraphs and just memorizing it, so this way it just doesn't really, it didn't really work for me. Next thing is dental dex cards. Over here, I also have them in PDF, so I just scroll it like that. I personally think it's the biggest must-have for studying for the boards. The whole information on the cards is written out perfectly. It's like a text. I usually, I don't think it would be a good idea to just uh, study them as flashcards. I don't think it's going to be helpful because the information in the back question. So it's built like there's a question on the front and the answer is on the back, and it comes with a huge paragraph kind of explaining the answer, but it's mostly like, it looks like a takeout from the book. So if you just learn those questions that are in the front, it's not really gonna be helpful because like, what's the point of the specific questions? And it's very difficult to just memorize this huge part of text. So what I do, I just open it up on my iPad and I read it as a text, as a textbook basically. And the information is structured well, it's, on the subject that goes a bit around the question so it's a bit more um, than the question asks if you know what I mean so there's like if, if the question asks about veins it would also explain like capillaries and like the structure of veins and, and anatomy and physiology a little bit so it just kind of more rounded up and I enjoy it I feel like the question in the front like you can see over here it's like a warm out it's like a trigger for your brain that you start thinking about it and then the information at the back is really good amount so it's not too much that you get bored reading it but it also is about the subject and it's enough for you to comprehend it so i would read it out and the, something that i don't if i meet something that i don't know i would write it out on a flashcard for myself and then i would just look through my flashcards and repeat Another must-have is ASDE reprints. So when you go to the website, you can buy the reprints. I downloaded mine illegally, so please don't sue me. I'm from Russia, so I go to Russian websites and just get all the stuff in PDFs. So these are amazing. I have them over here on my iPad as well. And they are the best help and the best questions you can find to prepare yourself for NBD. So don't go passing NBD before you went through all these tests. I looked through a lot of other tests and other like uh, online like test prep stuff and other books that have similar questions to NBD for the exam prep and they sucked. None of them had the level of difficulty just right. So some of them were too difficult or too irrelevant and you can definitely see that the structure of the question doesn't match the actual reprints that the questions that were on the exam. So I didn't like that. 
some questions were just too easy and it didn't it it didn't make any sense to study them because they're just not difficult enough you're not going to pass the exam if you study them so if you this is the best practice there's plenty of them there's like 900 pages if you buy all of them and it's plenty of practice for you to pre fully prepare yourself for the exam now i want to talk about some books that absolutely didn't work for me and i would recommend you stay away from them first book is the mosby review or mosby's review i also have it on my ipad over here and I didn't like this book because the information is absolutely opposite to the first eight. There is so much here, like there's 400 pages. It's a huge book. There are no pictures and there is just, it's just a lot, a lot of text that is unnecessary. You don't need this much. Um, and it's also not very easy to read. It's also compressed to bullet points, but the bullet point is like three pages. So I just, I tried to read it, it was so boring. It just, it didn't catch my attention. I found myself dozing off because, I mean, I know that studying is boring and everybody's like, yeah, it's not, you're not doing this for fun. But I feel like the textbook really need to do something to make me read it. It's, I can find better books to prepare myself for exam and to get the information that I need than this. You need to work harder to make me interested. The amount of information here is overwhelming. The book is basically unreadable because it's so boring, there's so much, and it's also not structured as paragraphs, it's structured as bullet points. So it's a pure torture of a book and I never finished reading it. I know there's a lot of material in this book, but there's also plenty of material in dental decks, but they engage you. They have this little question that you can trigger, just warm up your brain. There are pictures and the information is not as dull. So I think stay away from this book, save your money and time, you're better off. Another book that I absolutely hated and frankly just angered me is this book. Um, the NPD part one uh, first date, but it's a Q&A. So this book has questions wait where are the questions so much here there so it just contains questions based on the first aid book and it sucks first of all the level of difficulty of these questions does not match the reprints they're much more difficult i could see myself making so many mistakes and I didn't make as many mistakes on the reprints. You can definitely see that the questions here are irrelevant because they go into much more detail than in reprints actually go. The most important thing that I hated was that the answers weren't even right most of the time. And I know people say it's just you didn't answer them correctly and now you think they're wrong, but I would go back to the first aid book and read the paragraph that the question was referring to and the answer there was difficult. It was talking about a different thing that wasn't the answer. So I would make mistakes all the time. And like, why am I wasting my time on this if the answers aren't even correct? I went through majority of this book, but the wrong questions were just, at some point I just, that was the last drop and I quit this book altogether. So these are the resources that I used to study for my MBD and I still do. I'm passing my exam in the winter. Um, I honestly believe that you can be perfectly fine with studying by your lectures from your school using dental decks and doing the reprints. So when I study for my exam, I wake up very early and I make sure to study the first thing in the morning. So right now I wake up at about six to 7 a.m. But when I went to, when I was still going to school, I would wake up at like four because I had to leave at six. And I would just make sure that the information I need to study for, um, I need for the exam goes to my head first in the morning and last at night. This is when my brain is most active. I try not to get other stuff in my head. I'm really focused on the exam. So before I start studying, I usually drink a huge glass of water and it's not just, not just to wake up, but mostly to fill my stomach because I try not to have breakfast before I study because mostly when you, when you have breakfast, all the blood goes to your stomach and you just can't focus as well. But also if I sit down and I have breakfast, I will be just starting thinking about other stuff I want to do and how much I hate studying and how much I hate everything around me. And it's just depressing. And I try to avoid that. So if I start studying at like six, I would, I would not have my breakfast until like 10 when my stomach starts screaming at me and I can't focus on anything else but that. So my approach now is first thing, I read through my flashcards that I made whilst reading dental decks. 
and this would kind of also help me remember the information as I did before and it's kind of like a warm up before the workout. The second thing, I would do 10 questions of the reprints because I strongly believe that people who just do review of information and spend like a month on just reading stuff and only then go to test questions and missing out because test questions is what you do. You don't just go and give out text to professors who listen to you, you answer questions. So that's what you should be doing. And I do just 10 questions of reprints because I'm on still in the early stages of studying and I don't want to waste them because if I do a lot of mistakes, it doesn't really make sense. Why am I, I if I don't know the answer and I try to guess what's the point. So I just need to see the structures of the questions. I need to familiarize myself with them so I would just stand at this point and when I learn a little more and when I see that I do 10 perfectly I would move on and do 20 30 and go so on so after that after I did my questions I would go and read my dental decks and I would spend as much time as I can on them I would write more fl flashcards I would try to uh, study for at least six hours a day but realistically when life gets in the way it's like more four to five and I honestly believe that four to five hours a day is not enough I'm pushing towards six and right now I'm not studying on the weekend so I only study five days a week and I hope I'm doing okay I see the progress I see that I answer more and more questions correctly so I hope it's gonna work out and I'm gonna pass my boards well so this is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye guys.